Hi folks, um, I'm making this video because there have been some problems with people trying to uh, do add their text boxes to the map your location video and so I just wanted to shoot this really quickly to, to show you some workarounds. Um, before I do that, I uh, want to show you this file that one of my students submitted and uh, it's a really good file. It actually, when my student um, put this in, uh, she included a bunch of text boxes and stuff so it was in a much better format. Um, I've removed them just because I wanted to show you how to put text boxes in and also I want to show you a common error made in outlining a watershed. If you look in here, let's see, I don't know if I can zoom in, yes I can. If you look in at this watershed here, uh, it's great because the student included uh, saw the, the outlet of a particular watershed. This one happens to go into an ocean but your watershed doesn't have to. It could just go into another creek. Um, and it looks like it starts to go up these ridges. Those I do recognize that as a ridge and this would be a separate watershed and this is our watershed and that's all great. So the ridge comes up here and then ah, uh oh here's the problem. Look at this. The blue thing is a creek and here's the border of the watershed crossing a creek. That is, you can't do that. That is wrong because um, a watershed is an area of land that drains to one point. So it's all the area of land within a watershed drains to one point. So that with the boundary crossing right here, it's excluding this area up here and water here drains into that creek. So the watershed boundary should continue up this ridge pretty far off the edge here really and it's much larger than is shown here. Okay, so if your watershed boundary crosses a creek, you're doing something wrong. Okay, you need to look a little bit harder at your map and find the ridges like this ridge here. Uh, this is a ridge, but the uh, water on this side of the boundary flows down into this creek, into the same, you know, it's all part of the same watershed. This entire ridge here is part of the same watershed. Anyway, I'm done with that. Let's uh, back off here and show you how to do this problem. Let me show you what the problem is. So part of the assignment is to insert text boxes and show um, interesting things about your watershed and where you plan to visit. So let's try that. Here's what happens. You go insert text box and when you choose this thing ah you're what happened it's ruined panic terrible okay so um it, th there has been a change to microsoft word since i shot the first video and i discovered um two really good workarounds here's the first one you want to insert a text box you go insert text box and if you go all the way down it says draw text box oh draw a text box anywhere click on that click where you want to put it here's your text box you can put in your text you can make it smaller you can move it around if you right click on it um, you can format the text box and you can do all sorts of cool things with it okay so there that is the solution to that problem I also wanted to show you um, another trick here that you some people might find useful instead of working in Microsoft Word which can be a pain sometimes um, another thing to work in is Microsoft PowerPoint which I do a lot of as you know and I actually find it easier to do this kind of stuff in PowerPoint so let me just show you let's copy this image so I'm using um, a PC keyboard and so the uh, command is control let's see I first select the image uh, the picture and then I do control C to copy it on a Mac it's option C same thing um, then I have opened up PowerPoint already I've got a blank slide I just right click and choose this option paste a picture and there it is great um, now I want to put into text box and since I am on the home tab and I've made it big I've got a nice little picture here that says text box click on it put it in here um, type your text. Ooh, I don't like it because it's hard to see against the background. So you right click it and you format the shape. This little thing pops up. You can say solid fill. Let's make it white. That's great. You can play a lot with this stuff. You can play the transparency. You can play with a font color and so forth. When you're done, what I would do is I would first save it as a PowerPoint just so I can work on it later, but also for Murphy, for the class, save it as a PDF and submit it as a PDF. Okay, that's all. Quick video. Hope it helped. Ciao. Good luck with your assignment.